Thunderbolt docks are a great way to connect your computer to displays, speakers, your network, and other devices by using just one cable. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the newest dock from CalDigit, the TS5 Plus. This uses Thunderbolt 5 and allows for tons of expansion with all the different ports on the back and also a few great ports on the front of it. This dock has so many features with it, and in this video, we're going to take a look at everything this does, who I think this is for, and if you should stick to a smaller or a different dock instead. I do want to start off by saying CalDigit sent me this dock for free to make this video. They have no input into this content. This is going to be based on my thoughts after using this dock, who I think it's for, and who should go for a different option instead. So when I got this out of the box, I was really impressed with the build quality out of it. It has that classic CalDigit design, and what's neat about the way they design these is you can put these rubber feet on it, and you can lay it down on its side, or it's also designed to run vertically as well. So depending on your desktop setup, you can use it either way. There's also a ton of ports on this, and you get access to all the ports by using just one Thunderbolt 5 cable. And in the box, they do include this really nice braided Thunderbolt 5 to Thunderbolt 5 cable. I do wish this was just a little bit longer, though, because it would allow for more flexible placement of your computer in relation to the dock. Also in the box, you get this giant 330-watt power adapter, which is very important for providing tons of power to both your computer and also to any other devices that you have plugged into this. The TS5 Plus has a total of 20 different ports, and with the large power brick, there's plenty of power reserved for all the different USB devices that you plug into it. You also get up to 140 watts going to your host port. Now, this is a Thunderbolt 5 dock, which means it's designed to work with the latest and greatest Intel or Apple Silicon computers that have Thunderbolt 5. So to take full advantage of the maximum bandwidth on this, you are going to need a Thunderbolt 5 computer. This is also backwards compatible with Thunderbolt 4, Thunderbolt 3, and with some forms of USB 4, like USB 4 v2. This is not designed to work with USB-C iPads like the iPad M3 or also the iPad A16. You really need to have a Thunderbolt iPad if you want to take advantage of this dock. The main advantage of Thunderbolt 5 is the fact that it supports all the way up to 120 gigabits a second, which technically is the boosted speed if you're using things like Apple Studio displays or other high-resolution Thunderbolt displays. Or the main standard for this is the 80 gigabit a second, which is double what Thunderbolt 4 or Thunderbolt 3 could provide. So on the front of the dock, you get a UHS-2 SD card and micro SD card slot, which is great for offloading files. There's two 10 gigabit a second USB ports, and one of them is marked with that 36 watts. So that's going to be the port that's better if you want to keep devices like iPads charged on it. Love that they put that on the front. And then there's also a headset port on the front, and there's also a USB port on the front. On the back of it is where everything else is. You have the DCN to plug the power brick in, the 10 gigabit Ethernet port, which is amazing to finally have that in a Thunderbolt dock. And then there's four USB-A ports, three USB-C ports, there's a headphone out, and also a microphone in port. There's a display port, the host port to plug this directly into your computer, and then there's two additional Thunderbolt ports. I love all the USB ports on this because with other docks, I found myself running out of ports or having to decide which of my different audio interfaces or my different musical equipment I wanted to keep plugged in, but with this, there's just plenty of ports. Really, the only thing I wish this had on the back, and I just don't think there's enough bandwidth, is one additional Thunderbolt port. Because if you're using one of them for a studio display, then you're going to be limited to just one additional Thunderbolt port for other devices. Or if you want to use this dock with two Thunderbolt displays, then you're not going to be able to daisy chain any other Thunderbolt devices on this. So that's definitely a limitation. I do really like that they put a display port on this, though, because a lot of other docks I've reviewed recently have been missing display port or HDMI. So it's nice that they have that. CalDigit also says you could use a USB C to HDMI adapter, but they recommend you put that on the Thunderbolt ports and not the USB data ports. So you are going to have to be a little strategic depending on the displays that you want to use this to make sure that you can move it around on the ports that you have available. It's also worth noting the back two Thunderbolt ports each support 36 watts of power, and then you have the front 36 watt USB port. All the other USB-C ports support all the way up to 7.5 watts of power, so there's plenty of power on this, even for demanding devices that use a lot of bus power. So I'm really impressed with the build quality on the TS5 Plus. All the ports, the 10 gigabit Ethernet is an amazing feature to have if you want to plug this into a NAS or a very fast home network. So CalDigit has really tried to put a lot of great premium features into this dock that aren't available in others with all the power available, all the USB ports available, all the bandwidth for the USB ports as well. Really, my biggest complaint with this dock is I think it could use a Thunderbolt port on the front of it if they were able to put one more Thunderbolt port on it somehow, because this would be really great for plugging in fast external drives like USB 4 or Thunderbolt drives to this. But as it stands, you'll have to reach around and plug it into the back. And depending on the displays that you're using, you could also find yourself running out of ports available to use with displays. This supports dual displays using Mac OS, and with Windows, it can support up to three displays. But they really want you to be using the Thunderbolt ports or the display ports 
to use your external display. So depending on the different accessories that you're using this with, if you have Thunderbolt audio interfaces or the like, you may find yourself running out of Thunderbolt ports on the back of the dock, in which case you can always use more ports on your computer, but that does kind of stink to have to plug stuff in your computer and not to just be able to take full advantage of only using a dock and using one cord to plug into your computer. But the reason I'm okay with it missing an additional Thunderbolt port is because it has that 10 gigabit network port on the back of it. If you would buy one of those adapters separately, you'd be spending an extra $150 or $200, and you would also have to plug it into an additional port on your computer or to use a port on a dock to pull that off. So I love that they put the 10 gigabit straight onto this because it just keeps your setup that much cleaner, and it saves you a little bit of money in buying an extra dongle. The TS5 Plus also features dual USB controllers, which means there's actually 10 gigabits a second of data available for all the USB ports on the front and for all the USB ports on the back of it. Whereas some of the other docks that are out, you only get one USB controller, so the bandwidth is gonna be split between all of them, which this is super useful because there are so many USB ports seven USB ports on the back and three on the front. So you shouldn't have any issues with running out of things to keep your USB devices plugged into. The TS5 Plus is backwards compatible with Thunderbolt 4 and Thunderbolt 3, also with USB 4 V2, but I really only recommend buying this dock if you have a Thunderbolt 5 computer or if you plan on getting one in the near future. Because if you only have Thunderbolt 4, your data bit rate is gonna top out at 40 gigabits a second, but with Thunderbolt 5, you get 80 gigabits a second, and with the displays, it's boosted all the way up to 120 gigabits a second. So if you're using this with external displays, like the Apple Studio display, you're trying to use this with two studio displays with a Thunderbolt 4 or a Thunderbolt 3 computer, you're really quickly gonna hit a bottleneck on it. If you wanna use this with the 10 gigabit port and also with 5K or 6K displays and multiple displays, that's when you really need to make sure you're using this with a Thunderbolt 5 computer and not a Thunderbolt 4 computer. Like you don't necessarily wanna buy this to use it with the M4 MacBook Air, unless you're not planning on maxing all the ports out of it but you might wanna have the Thunderbolt 5 capabilities in the future. The CalDigit TS5 Plus retails for $500, which is a pretty penny to pay for a Thunderbolt dock, but you're really buying CalDigit because of the name, the brand recognition, and the reliability that they're known for. And with this dock in particular, you're buying it to get the 10 gigabit port. You're buying it to get all the different USB ports and to get the built-in display port to get all the power available to the USB ports on it. So really you're buying this dock to have everything in this nice convenient package with plenty of power and plenty of bandwidth to keep everything plugged in. CalDigit also has the TS5 and they also have the Element 5. The Element 5 is more of a hub, but it can still provide plenty of power to your computer. And it's got lots of Thunderbolt ports and lots of USB ports. So you can always use adapters to plug that into the network or other things that you may need, but it's a little bit more simple and minimal than the TS5 Plus. It doesn't have any SD card slots. So the TS5 Plus is really your best option if you want everything built in. The TS5 also is very similar to the TS5 Plus, but it has a few less ports, doesn't have the 10 gigabit a second, but it does get an additional Thunderbolt port, which I do like that they included that. But I think if you're going all out for a Thunderbolt dock and you need that network connectivity, you really need to keep a ton of devices plugged in. That's when you should buy the TS5 Plus over buying the TS5. But you could maybe get away with the TS5 if you have less USB devices that you need to use and you really need the additional Thunderbolt port, but then you're gonna be trading off having the 10 gigabit port. So when you're trying to decide which dock, make sure you look at all the different devices you're already using with your desktop setup, everything that you need to keep plugged into your computer, and just compare and make sure that you're picking the dock that's gonna fit your use case the best. Really the only other dock I would consider over the TS5 Plus right now is the Sonnet Echo 13 SSD dock. And that one has a couple of trade-offs for buying it. There's less USB ports. There is one additional Thunderbolt port on it though. And the other difference is this one's made of metal. It also has the display port on the back of it. Where the Sonnet one really thrives is it has a built-in SSD, but depending on the SSD that you get in the Sonnet one, that's gonna drive the price up on it. So it's kind of up to you to decide, do you need the 10 gigabit port? Do you need the better design of the CalDigit? In which case I would go for the CalDigit. But if you want to get the SSD that's built into it, that's when you might consider buying the Sonnet one instead. But again, I would look at all the different devices you already own. What's everything that you wanna plug into your computer and use that as your way to decide which dock is gonna be the best one for you. But the TS5 Plus is really for the user who has tons of data and power hungry USB devices. If you want that 10 gigabit ethernet port, if you wanna have the display port built on it, the ability to plug one Thunderbolt 5 cable into your computer and to have so many ports and so much power available for everything. I think that's really who the CalDigit TS5 Plus is for. If you're interested in buying the TS5 Plus, I do have links to buy in the description below. You got any questions about this doc, leave a comment down below, I'd love to hear them. Like this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.